Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. Please remember to support us at support3gm.com. This next question is, what is VSync? VSync is vertical synchronization. And basically, in gaming, it means synchronizing your monitor's refresh rate with your frames per second. So, for example, if your monitor's display's refresh rate is 60 hertz, it will limit the frames per second up to 60 frames per second. And VSync is enabled to avoid tearing. And tearing is basically what it means. It's when you move around uh, in a 3D game, you don't get this ripping or tearing effect uh, of the image. Now, when should you enable or disable uh, VSync? Generally speaking, if you have a very high-end video card setup, you can pretty much always enable VSync, but that's not always the case. VSync should only be enabled when your frames per second is always above the monitor's refresh rate. So for example, let's just say you're playing a game and in that game without VSync enabled you get around 75 to 80 frames per second always, all the time. Then you can enable VSync because VSync what it does is it will match again the monitor's refresh rate with the frames per second. So if it's 60 Hertz and that's 60 frames per second, but it will limit the frames per second to 60 frames per second. But since your game is always going over 60 frames per second, VSync will not slow it down. But if your frames per second is below 60, as an example, then enabling VSync could have a detrimental effect on performance, and you could reduce the performance of the game up to 50%, if not more. So it's you really have to find out what your monitor's refresh rate is in the resolution that you're playing the game in, and then find out what the average frames per second in the game is. If it's above your monitor's refresh rate, then you can enable VSync and you won't get that tearing. But otherwise, enabling it really could degradate the gaming frames per second. I hope this answers your question and keep your questions coming.